couple of questions. I actually had three, but you took care of one of them. Uh, back to the lunch program. Uh, you, you said you ran short just a few dollars there. Do, do the free lunches, you said that the <coughs> government reimburses you two sixty seven or something like that per lunch? So that means technically we're not losing any money through the free lunch program or aspect of the situation. So we're not have to make up, the rest of us don't have to make up for that. That's what I'm trying to say. The government's taking care of that part. So basically, anybody who gets free or reduced lunch, is the school is getting reimbursed adequately for all that. Is that correct? I, 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 understand, I understand what you're asking or how you're, how you're thinking it. I think if you take a step back, what we're chasing is if if 267 mm -hmm. and and if everybody even today if everybody paid 267 both the those for whom the federal government pays and those who bought locally mm -hmm. would still be in the deficit mm -hmm. which which makes the which makes the case that even the 267 isn't covering the cost mm -hmm. which is why our concerns are not on the revenue side they're on the spending side we've got to curtail the cost of food and materials that go into the meals and the cost of labor that it takes to serve the meals and, and make the program run. Because right now, clearly our unit cost per meal served is greater than 267, no matter who's paying for it. We're spending more like 285 or 290 to make every meal happen okay. between people and overhead and, and, and food and paper towels and cleaning supplies, you name it. Okay. We're spending more per meal than we're taking in and that's why we're trying to curtail costs. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, one more we question. face the same, Michael, just a comment. We face the same um, issues that you face when you go to the grocery store. I went to the grocery store on Friday and I was a little surprised by the bill. And she, Mary Borg faces those same high costs for food, the transportation of that food. Yeah. We use government co commodities. We, we do very well with that. She, and she integrates that into the meal. But because of, you know, the, the work towards a good nutritional meal, um, that meets all of the the standards for that meal. Um, it doesn't. It does impact. In fact, impact the lunches. Uh, we also know that during the downturn in the economy, um, that there are many people were bagging lunches from home. Uh, and so one of the things that Mary's doing is trying to incentivize, get the kids encouraged, and get them back into the lunch lines and buying the lunch too. So we're, we 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 haven't seen that that uptick yet. Um, but she continues to work on that. So there are other things that we can do to try to make this food service program solvent. It has been an issue since we arrived, and we still haven't solved it yet. Well, I know when I was in school 100 years ago, <laughs> that school actually made money on the milk. The reimbursement was more than what the town actually spent with the milk. We also got tons of turkey, tons of ham, and peanut butter. There were peanut butter jars on every table, whether you wanted or not, it was there. Because it was actually a commodity. It like is, you said. the commodities. Everything I mean, there are some things right. out there, but I imagine the killer is probably the fresh produce and probably. But I, I have one more question for you. You said something about Channel 13 coming alive soon. Really? You have some kind of a crystal ball that I, nobody else has? Um, I did uh, discuss the matter with uh, the community liaison from Comcast. I've also had uh, conversations with Brian and Paul, and we were given a date of September 15th. Really? Um, which happens to be yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did meet with our um, media, uh, John Judson, and mm -hmm. I met this morning uh, because John really is the go-to guy. He's mm -hmm. working with the advisory committee and he does all of our media stuff for us. And uh, there's been no movement. So uh, we, 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 we just, we know that the selectmen are looking at this. I know they've been frustrated. At least that's what I'm getting reports. And mm -hmm. Rusty has been keeping us up to date on the board. So, I mean, we're just waiting because we have plans to launch this and we just haven't been able to do it. I know that we were told that it's going to happen about a year ago. Well, well it was last. supposed to be done by December and yeah. we are now um, into September and it's not done. And I'm, I know they've had some changes in staff and they had some issues, but wow. Mm. They tell uh, Jim meeting today on Channel 13. What? They televised their meeting today. Yeah, they did. From um, two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, I think they can do the, f the feeds that are, that are, are, are recorded. Um, 
Mm. I'll have to look at that. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> We're working on it, Michael. I'm all done, yes. Thank you.